Hi friends, today we'll be doing something totally different, but still interesting. We'll not be drawing something or going somewhere, instead we are using the computer. Today I brought different code editors where we will type a code in and we'll be having a ton of fun. If you want to follow along with me, click on any of the links given in the description box below. Soon I'm going to tell you what we're supposed to do next. So let the fun begin! I have given you guys three code editors. You guys can use any one of them. I'm going to be using Bytecode, but there are two others, which is Trinket and PYC. There are two parts on the screen. One part where we type the codes down and one where we see the outcome. So basically what comes out of it. I have given the basic code in the description box below to uh, begin our fun. So you just copy and paste it here. The first thing I'm going to introduce is Turtle. Turtle is a special feature in this Python uh, programming language. Turtle uh, helps you create uh, animations and games. So Turtle can be used for many different things. Now, as you can see, here we have a black screen and a yellow outlined arrow. We'll get to the arrow later. Let's talk about the screen. To introduce the screen, I'm going to type in and screen equals turtle dot screen brackets. That introduces the screen. But I also gave this screen the color black. So here, as you can see, I typed in screen dot bg color bracket black bracket. Well, you can change the color to whatever you want. Let's say I'm going to do, let's say red. Then we click the run button to execute what I changed. As you can see now, we have a red background color. Now, I am going to change the pen color down here. I'm going to change it up to green. Let's see. As you can see, we have a red background and a green in an outline arrow. The green and uh, green outlined arrow here, as you can see, is the pen. So introduce the pen. Uh, pen equals turtle dot capital T turtle uh, brackets. If you do a lowercase t and run it, as you can see here, there is an error on line number seven. So it basically does not know what you need by turtle. You need to write it capital. Now if I run it, the error has completely vanished. Now I gave this uh, pen, co uh, pen a color, right? So here to introduce the pen color, I typed in pen dot pen color green with the brackets. Remember you guys can change it to whatever you want. I also like the black and yellow combination so I'm gonna do black and yellow yellow as you can see now I have the black and yellow version so here as you can see I introduced a loop a loop is when you do a certain action for a certain amount of times. Later in this video, I'm going to introduce how many times this thing is going to keep looping. And if we don't introduce it, it's just going to keep looping for the rest of eternity. For step two, I'm going to be introducing the loop. Remember when I told you guys that I'm going to introduce how many times this thing is going to keep looping? Well, we're going to do it now. Now I'm going to type in for x in range shift 360. 360 is how many times this thing going to keep looping. It's not going to stop until we reach 360. And if we don't type 360 in, well, 
it's gonna keep moving for the rest of eternity. Okay, now I'm gonna write pen dot forward. Now I'm gonna write pen dot left, or you can also write right, whatever you want. Fifty-nine. Okay. Now I'm gonna write print X. Okay, as you can see, we have the new four lines of code added in. So now we have the loop. So now I'm gonna try running it and see how it turns out. Oh guys, see? It's looping around and it's gonna keep doing that for 360 times. Let's watch it. Now let's begin step three. In step three, it's gonna get way more fun. So in step three, I'm gonna be introducing the pen speed. To introduce it, you type up pen dot speed bracket and then we put in the speed. Apparently here, the speed is lowest is actually one and the highest is zero. So I think I might put in, hmm. I think I'll put in 8. Yeah. Now I'm gonna run it, and now it's gonna run at the speed of 8. I might change it up a bit to 0. Let's see how fast it goes. Oh my god, that is so fast. It literally is probably gonna finish in a matter of seconds. Yep. I think 9 you can do. 9 is a pretty reasonable speed. Whoa. It's much slower than and 0 but faster than 8. I think I'll keep speed 9 for a bit. It's a pretty reasonable speed. How about we spice things up a bit? Now I'm gonna type in import random. Okay. Now I'm gonna type in colors equals. I can now put in any colors I want. I'm gonna put in white. Yellow, I think, will be a pretty reasonable color. Light blue, uh, dark blue, I think, also. Red, green, I think, and orange, actually. Now I'm gonna assign all of these all the random choice colors to the pen. So I'm gonna type in pen dot pen color random choice colors. Okay, now I'm gonna run it and see. Look guys! It gave us all these random colors and it's gonna keep switching these colors. I 
I think I'm going to change up the pen movement a bit. Let's put pen dot forward. It's going to turn. It would have to turn every 60 degree. See? It is creating a hexagon. Nice. I'm going to change up the speed to zero so that it speeds things up a bit. No idea why zero has to be that fast though. How about we split 360 into a few different angles? I think 12 could be a pretty good idea. I wonder at what angle will it turn? Let's see. 30, okay. It's gonna turn at a 30 degree angle. Whoa, look guys. It has 12 sides. Hmm. Which one should I do next, actually? Hmm, I can think about this. Maybe an octagon, actually, would be a pretty good idea. So, I'm gonna do 360 divided by 8. Which is 45. So, it's gonna turn at a 45 degree angle. Now we have a octagon. I think I'm gonna change forward back to circle. It's probably gonna be a pretty good idea. Let's keep all the other attributes. Whoa, that's pretty cool actually. Whoa. What a interesting shape. I have no idea what you guys wanna call it. Well, I have no idea what I'm gonna call it. Let's have a bit more fun with the shapes. Whew. What do I do? Oh, wow, that was a very weird shape. Now I'm just gonna make it more like reddish colors. See, this is like only reddish colors. Now I'm gonna do more bluish colors and green like purple green blue yeah but i'm gonna keep the color white let's see how this turns out oh my god that's pretty cool actually it's basically all the cool colors well that's very cool Friends, thanks for watching my video. For this code editor, I have given the link in the description below. You can follow along and have fun with different colors and shapes of your choice. I hope you learned something new and it was interesting. We will keep learning interesting things in our upcoming videos. Comment down below what do you want to learn more about. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.